Hey everyone, it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com. And I'm excited to go live to you today. We're actually a little late. Um, it was supposed to be me and Marsha O'Malley talking about video marketing today, and she's still going to try to join me. Uh, we just couldn't use the technology that we were trying to use. So uh, let's see if she comes on live and let me see here. I hope you um, all are having a good week so far. And um, I would love to know what you're using video for. Are you doing Facebook Lives like this? Are you doing other videos? Are you posting them on YouTube? Are you putting them on a blog? Are you sharing them on social media? Um, if they're not just Facebook Lives, are you doing them on Instagram? Are you doing Instagram stories or LinkedIn videos? I would love to know. Please comment below because um, it really is good to share these kinds of resources, right? Video marketing is not going away, and we totally need um, – Marsha, I invited you, so you should see an invite in your um, notifications, I guess. I've never done – a joint Facebook Live like this, and they must have just changed it because I swear I didn't notice that before. So usually I try to use BeLive.tv, but maybe I don't need to go there if I can do this. So Marsha, hopefully let me know if you're seeing the notification. Um, and so I want to know, we need to share resources, you guys. So, I mean, I've been doing a lot of video. I get on Zoom and I record my own videos and then I upload them to YouTube. They go on my blog, they go out in my email newsletter. Um, for those videos that I don't do live here on Facebook. I do some videos live inside my International Entrepreneur Network group. I do them sometimes live inside my Jumpstart Marketing group here on Facebook. And, um, you know, I don't do, I've never done a, a video live on YouTube, on LinkedIn, or Instagram, but I'm totally open because, hey, the more the merrier, right? The more we can share our message, the better, I think. So hopefully, Marsha, you're having a problem. Give me a little comment. Make sure you're you're not having problems. That'd be great. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, so first of all, if you're scared to do video, right, then we have to talk about that. We have to address the fears about getting on video. Usually what I find, the people that are scared to do video, um, there are people that, are, that know what to say, but they're still super scared to get on. Uh, and that we have to really help you get over. You can't just ignore video because this is a really great way to connect and engage with your audience, your followers, your friends, your fans. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Lori. Um, and so we want to help you get over that however we can. Is there whatever I can do? I do that with clients a lot. Usually what I find with my clients, though, is they, they wouldn't mind doing a video necessarily if someone just showed them how to click and, and where what technology to use, right? And, um, or how to, um, yeah, Marsha, I don't know how else to add you unless um, that's the only way. So I invited you. Let me just double check because I don't have my glasses on. And let's see. Marsha O'Malley, you've been invited, so I don't know. Yep. Do, do, do. <sighs> Hopefully she makes it, because the whole reason we wanted to talk today is because uh, Marsha is a videographer, and she has uh, does a lot of um, video for people. She's in the Reno, Nevada area, but she's going to be coming to my event at the end of June here, the Speaker Success Boot Camp. She's going to do some speaking around video and some tips for people who aren't sure what to do or what to say or how to, the technology to use and if you're going to use your phone for video or a computer. Uh, there's a lot of different things to know and you know my take on it is that you just get started You don't have to buy this fancy equipment. You don't have to buy fancy microphones and stuff you can But why not just get started just get started and see how it goes and then gradually add electronics to your you know your yourself uh, your stuff once you start getting consistent with video so hopefully she's Trying to, and so she is doing the video, but she's also speaking. So at my Speaker Success Boot Camp at the end of June, um, she, I, it's a three-day training, two and a half days for general admission, and three days for VIPs. 
And what we do when you're a VIP, that means um, that means that you get an extra three-hour mastermind session in the morning on day one where we talk about um, what specifically you need to do on video because on day two and three is when we shoot the videos. We do five-minute video clips for anybody who doesn't have video yet or wants another video. It's always good to get more video of yourself speaking in front of an audience, whether it's a 20-person audience or a 200-person audience or 2,000-person audience. You want more video footage. You always want video footage. So anytime you're going to start speaking somewhere, always be thinking, how can I get this video taped? Worst possible scenario, set up your phone on a tripod in the back of the room and just let it videotape you. Um, the tip about that is to turn off your notifications and maybe even your Wi-Fi so that you don't, because it can shut off your video when you're doing that. Yep, I learned that the hard way. <laughs> and then, um, so, but taking video, so I was just speaking in Washington, D.C. last week, and they videotaped the whole conference and all the different breakout sessions and everything. And luckily, because I was a speaker, they volunteered, or they offered to give me that video footage for free. Um, it's going to be raw footage, but that's okay. Most of the video that I have is raw and unedited, frankly. I have some of it that's edited, but most of the time it's raw. And it doesn't matter. I mean, those people that book you to speak just want to see your personality. They want to see how much energy you have, how lively you are, how engaging you are with the audience. They want to see that you know what you're talking about, that you have good stage presence. Those are the things. And, of course, good content. But all these other things are a little bit more important. If you have really good content, but you're a boring snoozer speaker like this, then I don't want to book you as a speaker because you'll put my audience to sleep, right? So you really need video to showcase yourself as a speaker these days. And, you know, doing videos like this on my desk and in my office and stuff is great, but it doesn't really show me, like, in front of a crowd. And, you know, what if I'm really comfortable like this with nobody in the room, but then I freeze up on stage? I don't know that. Speaker bookers don't know if that happens to you. They need to see you live in action. So. When you are a VIP at my Speaker Success Bootcamp, you actually get a video clip of yourself on in front of the room. And it's a smaller room, like 25, 30 people or whatnot. But it's a, and it's, so it's a real training atmosphere, workshop mode. We get stuff done so that you can get more bookings as a speaker. You know what to do online when you're speaking on Zoom, on Facebook Live, on uh, webinars, as well as in-person speaking to small groups, big groups, conferences, and even corporate trainings, uh, paid gigs. So all of that is covered at this event. So I hopefully you can think about, you don't think too long though, because literally the deadline to sign up is the 21st. So it's next, well, I'll probably wait till Saturday. So it's Saturday the 22nd. So you literally have about a week and a half to decide and get your tickets and get to Sacramento the following week because I do have to prepare, you know, for the event and all that. So we're still waiting for Marsha to hopefully join us. Marsha, are you having any luck? Please communicate so I know if I can't see my um, messages. So you're going to have to, let me see here. I'll pull up another screen with my messages and see if you're talking to me on Facebook. <laughs> uh, La, la, la. Okay, no, you're not. Awesome. Okay, well, I could talk for an hour on video. In fact, I just did that speaking, that speaker um, opportunity that I had in Washington, D.C. last week. My talk was actually successful video marketing, and it was to a whole room of association executives at the ASAE. And it was super fun. I knew nobody in the whole room, which is kind of, I, I still, for me, after speaking for 17 years, um, you don't find a link, Marsha. Okay. Well, I don't know. I mean, the invite, you told me that it was easy to do. <laughs> um, why don't you do this? And this is what I had to do with the live person. So we don't keep everybody waiting, Marsha. Would you be able to type in some key points and stuff to add to the conversation here. What I don't know how to I don't know how to get her on you guys. So if anybody knows if we're on just Facebook Live and I invited her to come, maybe it's just an invite to to come into the thing. I'm not on my phone, I'm on my computer. So maybe that doesn't work, Marsha. I'm thinking I invited you, but that's just to watch, probably not to actually come on. And I don't see a little button unless I'm on my phone. So I could end and start over. 
and grab my phone, but oh my God, what a hassle that would be because I hardly ever get on my phone. Um, all right, so Marsha, why don't you keep commenting below and um, I will share what you're sharing in the video. And I did this the other day and I'm so sorry, you guys. I really wanted Marsha to be on and give her a shout out because she's amazing. She's doing such great work in Reno and uh, surrounding areas and I can't wait for her to come down because I have a lot of clients in the Sacramento area who need her. And so if you're planning on coming to the Speaker Success Bootcamp, you're gonna, she's gonna give a special offer too for you guys. I think she's gonna schedule a day where she comes back down from Reno another day and does a whole bunch of video shoots in the Sacramento area. And so you just have to like sign up for your slot that you want your time slot and then you can record a whole bunch of videos. One time, I, um, well, from my website a few years ago, it was many years ago actually, um, I hired a videographer to come to my house and for four and a half hours, we just shot video. I shot 17 videos raw. I didn't really, I don't think she even, well, she might've edited a little bit off the front and back, but I'm usually pretty good with just spitting out what I wanna say and then pausing so they can stop and I don't need a lot of editing usually when, I, when I'm really clear on what, video, what I wanna say in a video. And um, and so we shot 17 videos in four and a half hours, and I think she charged me like 500 bucks, which is really inexpensive for that kind of time frame, mind you. So I got a hell of a deal way back when, and so Marsh is gonna do that. So what you can do is you figure out, okay, what videos you need. You need video on your homepage to welcome people to your site and to tell them to get your free thing. You need a video on your about page, perhaps, to talk about your philosophy and your purpose and what kind of people you like working with so they can get to know you, maybe even tell your story in that video. You might want a video on each one of your sales pages so that the people that don't wanna read the sales page will actually watch the, the video instead. You might want video on a thank you page. After someone signs up, you can welcome them into a program or welcome them into a membership or um, give them instruction on how to you know, consume your product or your program or something like that. So Marsha is saying, need ideas for videos? Here's a few. Review a book or product. So let's talk about the types of videos, then that's what she's talking about. So if you're trying to figure out what uh, videos to do, First of all, people want to know your story, and you should be talking about yourself and what you're doing, not what you ate for breakfast, frankly, but your story and yourself and what you're, you know, what matters most to you, family, maybe where you're going on vacation, um, and then let's list out other some few more. So Marsha says, review a book or product. If you've read a book recently, maybe mine, yay. Uh, <laughs> um, maybe you can review it on video, and then you tag the author if you know them or if you you know, post or share it to their wall or, or put a hashtag or something with their name on it so it can, it can let them know that you did that. Even if it's a big name author, right? Even if it's a big name author, you still wanna tag them or especially put it on Twitter because a lot of the big name authors are all on Twitter and if you put their at sign and um, they'll see your video and then, I mean, that's amazing, right? And especially if you tell them they can use it in their marketing because they might be able to actually take it and put it on their website from there. So doing a product or a book review like that is a really great um, uh, give back, so to speak. It's a really great give back to somebody that you like, trust, or connect with um, through their product or their book or their live event even, something like that. Okay, now Marsha says roll out a new program. Yeah, so I was talking about um, putting on your sales pages, but why not also in your YouTube sharing about the new program or in an email newsletter or even on Facebook, hey, I'm thinking about starting this program, what do you guys wanna hear about, right? So you might say something like that. Tell me below what kinds of things you wanna know about speaking, what are your biggest challenges, right? If I was starting a new speaking program right now or I was uh, planning my events and I hadn't done it before, I might do a, a video to ask for your feedback, what do you wanna know about? You can do that with almost anything that you are planning on launching, including writing a book or a live event. Great idea, Marsha. And then another idea is demonstrate something. So uh, demonstrating something 
would be like, I do tutorial videos every once in a while because a lot of my clients are not very technology oriented. So when they're trying to figure out how to update a web page on the back of their WordPress, or they're trying to figure out their shopping cart and how to create a product or an autoresponder, a lot of times I'll get on a Zoom call with them and I'll do a screen share and I'll log into their system and I'll show them how to do it so that they have a step-by-step, -step, right? And I'll talk through how I'm doing it, what I'm doing, and then they'll have that recording to use over and over again as a tutorial. Sometimes I do it with a bunch of clients on the line, and then I use that as a main tutorial on my uh, tutorial page on my website, and, and I give that to clients. I don't give that to everybody, but my clients who are either one-on-one -on -one or in my mastermind get access to those tutorials on a, on a regular basis. So I do like to create uh, demonstration stuff like that but you could do anything you want if you're a chef and you want to demonstrate how you're cooking something or you're uh, gosh I don't know <laughs> you, oh you want to demonstrate tapping I have a client who's a tapping EFT practitioner and so she'll do videos to show tapping right and so that's a demonstrative kind of a, that's an idea let's see Broadcast from an event. Yes, I go to a lot of events where there's the live stream, right? And you can be at home watching the live event. I've not done that personally because it takes a team to do that. And frankly, I don't, haven't had the, the time or the bandwidth to think about bringing someone in like that uh, to host it. Because it's pretty much a full-time job for one person to manage your live stream or your broadcast. You don't just want to set it and forget it. You want to interact with the live stream audience as well. But that is a great idea. And at some point, I might do that. <laughs> um, host interviews. Yeah, we're like, we're trying to do an interview, right? We were going to be on VLive TV, but she couldn't get on to my room. And I don't know what the heck was going on anyways. So that was the platform I used. Maybe I'm going to have to switch platforms. So if you guys know any platforms where we can do an interview side by side on a computer and not on a, so a cell phone, I don't really like to do my stuff on cell phones. So that's probably where I could have done it today. But again, I wasn't prepared for the cell phone. And again, don't just say, ah, oh, forget it. See how I came on live anyways, because there, you can always work it out, right? Not a lot of people care. Uh, that you're perfect about what you're doing in your video. You just have to go live. So um, so hosting interviews is great. Love doing that. And I really do honestly need a new platform. So please uh, put a resource down there if you think. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. Okay, Marcia, you said to click invite. It's, I clicked on your profile picture, Marcia, but it's not doing anything. Let me right click. No, there's nothing to, that says anything about giving you, I don't know, uh, seven, yeah, thank you, Marsha says, I think you broke a record with 17 videos at once, I know, and most people wouldn't be able to do that, I just am really good with the words, and so uh, that's a lot of reasons why people hire me is because they don't have the words in their sales or their marketing conversations and strategies, and so they get the words from me, and I'm happy to, I can talk anybody's video out, <laughs> and then you listen back to the recording, and you transcribe it, and you practice it and you do it. That's how simple it can be. Really, seriously. Okay, let's go back to the list Marsha gave us. So after hosting interviews, what kinds of videos can you do? Commenting on breaking news. Yes, you could. I don't watch the news though, so I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> um, but if you watch the news and you want to comment on the breaking news, it could be you comment on social breaking news, I suppose, or your own personal breaking news. Like, hey, you know, if you just got engaged. Oh, I just got engaged, right? So that could be breaking news, but like worldly breaking news, I have the slightest idea what's going on. <laughs> I know it's not funny necessarily, but it's true. What can I say? All right, so let's see here. Then host a poll or contest. Yes, and maybe, Marcia, you could explain that a little bit more if there's a technology thing that can happen. I know you can do a poll on Facebook, but I didn't. I don't think you can do it in conjunction with a video. You'd have to do a video saying, okay, put A in the comments if you think this answer, put B in the comments if you think that answer, and put C in the comments if you think that answer. That's the only thing I can think of. Um, 
And, uh, oh, she said breaking, comment on breaking news in your industry. Oh, okay, well, that's true. Like if you're a professional organizer and they just came out with a new um, technique or law or whatever, or you're a tax accountant or something and you want to tell your clients something about uh, a new tax law they have to be aware of. Yeah, there's a lot of things. Breaking news in your industry. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Jill. Good to see you here. All right. And then there's a polar contest. So yeah, get creative with your videos. Don't just sit and inform or sit and BS with people and not make any, you know, leeway. Either give them real value and educate them or get them engaging, perhaps. Um, teach something, Marcia says, yes, teach something. We're teaching that today. We're teaching tips on how to really make video easier for you, how to monetize video. We'll get to the monetizing in a second. Um, go behind the scene. So behind the scene is fun. Uh, when you're at live events or I've done that before where I've taken people behind the curtain, hey, this is what we're doing and you know, I'm just getting ready to take the stage uh, or let's see, behind the scene of not your business. Maybe you want to show them your office. I've done that before um, behind the scene. I'm, I'm blanking on other examples, but I'm sure you guys can think of some. And then uh, hold a Q&A session. Yes. Well, it's easier uh, done on a Zoom call if you're doing live Q&A. I do live Q&A and masterminding on the International Entrepreneur Network that I run for seven bucks a month, in case you guys didn't know. I have that. Uh, you can go to iEntrepreneurNetwork.com. It's the letter I, EntrepreneurNetwork.com. Uh, and three times a month right now, we are coming on live for 30 to 60 minutes for open Q&A and masterminding. And everybody gets a hot seat that comes on that wants one. And it's really fun. And we do it on Zoom. And so it's not live on Facebook, but it's Zoom, and then it's recorded, and so then people that missed it could watch it and catch the questions and things like that. But uh, yeah, so I do that kind of stuff with my mastermind too. Um, live Q and A. If you want to come to the Speaker Success Bootcamp, if you have an event or a retreat or something, get on live. You can go on Facebook and say, "Anybody have any questions about my event?" Or anybody have any questions about the, the group that they're in? Maybe you're in a membership, you have run a membership program, and you can do a Q&A inside your membership and say, hey, I'm just, you know, anybody have questions on either the topic of the membership program or the membership program itself? Yeah, why not? Q&A. It's always good to engage with your audience. Okay, and then broadcast a moment in life. Yep, so you want to videotape your weddings, right? Your weddings, your proposals. I told Jason when he proposed to me, this was before he proposed, when I knew he was thinking about proposing, and we were talking about marriage. I said, whatever you do, honey, you have to make sure wherever you propose, you have to videotape it somehow, some way. And it still needs to be a surprise, mind you. So you can't just say, let me set up the video camera, I'll be right back. <laughs> And so he did. He actually proposed at my live event when I was already video streaming the panel of experts, and he was on the panel, and he uh, proposed then. So he caught me by surprise, but he knew I was videotaping, which was super smart of him. And now I have that memory, because the reason I said that was because I forget stuff, and I didn't want to forget his proposal. So think ahead with things like that. It's pretty important. All right, let's see. Do an online sale. Do an online sale. So, oh, this is a great example. One of my clients, Shauna, runs, she's yourlovegal.com, and she ha used to do passion parties and, you know, the uh, things that go buzz in the night kind of uh, products, right? And she was clearing out her inventory because now she does love and intimacy coaching. And she was clearing out her inventory of fun lotions, potions, and you know what. And so she had an event on Facebook. And she, I don't remember if she actually went live. I think she did. But she, every hour of the day, this one day, she sat and every hour she had a different special or online or offer, like 40% off lotions this hour and 40% off you know what's the next one or whatever the dollar figure was. And she sat there all day and I think she did little videos of that and was doing little special sales and encouraging people to come on and buy something that hour, etc. So that's a really fun idea. You can do a Mary Kay party or any kind of other party online. Uh, Pampered Chef, I know my friend Roxanne does Pampered Chef online parties a lot. 
And this is just a great way to engage an audience that wouldn't normally come to your house for the that particular party, right? And then address blog comments. Oh, that's a good idea. I had never thought of that, actually. So if people are commenting on your blog, uh, first of all, you have to get them to comment. First of all, you have to write the blog. Let's back up a little bit. First of all, you have to write a blog. <laughs> I know a lot of you may not be doing that. And then you have to actually uh, in, share the blog and ask people to comment. You can't just share the blog and expect them to comment, people. You have to share the blog and say, if you like what you read, please make a comment. And then, so what Marsha's saying is to then address the blog comments with a quick video. And that takes just a quick second, and you can do that and add it, and it will add a lot of value and even more engagement. Because then the person who added the comment might video back. And then you might take it to a phone call from there because you went to such trouble to videotape your reply. And that means a lot to people when you go out of your way. Um, actually, one time, and I don't know if this is on your list, but somebody, there's a lot of people, you know how you use Facebook Messenger, right, for sending messages to people, um, and private messages and things like that. Kind of like, we use it kind of like email now because nobody watches their email or you get caught in spam or trash, so we'll message people because they see it faster if we don't have your cell phone and text you, right? Uh, but sometimes people will audio record or video record the message that they're sending in Facebook, which is super cool. Somebody did that with me, and I paid close attention to that, much more than I would any other kind of message, because they took the trouble to actually send a video of themselves rather than just a quick little message. So the, the more detail you can go and the more depth you can go in your communication with prospects and followers and friends and clients, the more people are going to pay attention, and you have to get them to pay more attention these days, so it's pretty important. All right, so Marsha also has, let's see, promote an upcoming event. Yes, well, that ideally was what we were going to do today, <laughs> and we were going to promote the Speaker Success Boot Camp, which I've already talked to you about, and you can go to jumpstartspeakerevent.com right now and register. Remember, you only have a week and a half to do that, um, and you can register as a... Uh, a general admission. You don't have to do the VIP and get a video of yourself, um, but for only $400 more to get a video of yourself in front of an audience where I'm going to coach you on what to say so it's the perfect video for your website to book you as a speaker, I mean, you're not going to be able to get that for $400 anywhere. Plus, you actually get that extra mastermind day, three three hour session um, on day one, and you actually get my home study program. You get my whole entire Jumpstart Yourself as a Dynamic Speaker program, which normally sells for $9.97 on my website. You get that included for the extra 400 bucks. So it's a super easy um, way to, to get really level yourself up as a speaker. Speaking is the number one strategy you can use, you know, in your business. And this is speaking. So anybody that's ever done a Facebook Live or anybody that's ever pressed, uh, been on a Zoom call, whether you're hosting it or you're attending it, you're speaking. Anybody that's ever gone to a networking event, frankly, and given a 30 second commercial, you're a speaker. Okay, so stop denying the fact that you're not a speaker and embrace it and then figure out how to maximize yourself as a speaker, please, okay? It's super important. Okay, let's see. Marsha said, um, la, 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 we always need a plan B. I don't know what you mean by always need a plan B, Marsha. Um, because I say no plan B, but that's in general for your business. So when you have your own business, you don't want a plan B. I'm sure you're talking about something else, so maybe explain that. Um, you can do a poll separately from a video, yes. So she's talk, when it, she's clarifying what I was saying. I don't think you could do them together on Facebook. Um, and I haven't heard anybody say if they've – I'd love to hear your guys' comments. Um, like Yvonne, I see you're here, and Talise, and I know Lori was here, and Mindy – and Jill, if any of you guys are using video, I would love to know what you're using it for, um, how you use it, what technology do you use? Do you just go live on Facebook Live on your phone? Do you like Zoom to record and then you upload it to YouTube? Um, like I said earlier, I'm looking for an alternate solution to be live TV to do my interviews side by side. Um, because I don't want to be on my phone. I don't, I despise using my phone for many things. And, I, and don't tell me I have to embrace it, people, like I tell you to embrace things. I don't have to embrace my phone. There's many other options, but I don't want to be 
relying on my phone to run my business. It's it's just a anyways sidebar. Okay, let's see here. Marsha says uh, it's all about the engagement. What are you talking about? Love your proposal video. Oh, thank you, Marsha. You can create videos to promote a contest or poll. It's all about the engagement. That's what I think she's saying. And I can't wait for your speaker boot camp. It's an amazing deal. Yes, it really is. You can come for the just the general admission though if you want to at um, 197 dollars. Um, it's it's for two and a half days for that. You're gonna walk away with knowing exactly what you're talking about. Your speaker talk description, your topic title, your bios, um, what to do on your website so that you get booked more. How to what to send to people to inquire to be a speaker, also to be a guest on a podcast or a radio show. Those are a I mean, those are everywhere. You guys could be speaking uh, three times a week on podcasts and things like that and get exposure to thousands and thousands of people if you just stop and embrace what you need to do to do that. And it's just a it's really a simple process to being booked on speaking gigs and things like that, and especially podcasts and radio shows. Hi, Jimmy and Jen. We're talking about video marketing here, and if you have any tools or tips or tricks on what you do with video and or what you're using technology-wise to either record one video like this, I mean, I'm using Facebook Live just from my computer, but I'm looking to find other technology where I can do a joint interview. Um, I remember when Blab was around. Who remembers Blab, right? I loved Blab because it was super easy to get up to four people in like a little square with four different squares, and but it was live. It was live video, whereas Zoom is great for that, but it's not live. Although, I know you can go live from Zoom, but again, I haven't tried that technology, so to just try it today was not an option. Um, so Marsha says, you were talking about just doing it when there are just tech issues like today. Plan B, yeah. Well, the plan, yeah, so the plan B was today was to, there was no plan B actually today. <laughs> I was just assuming it was gonna work and it didn't. And so we just impromptu did this and I, she said, oh, I can invite you and uh, you can invite me in here. And great, I did invite her, but that just means to watch and you know. And so next time I think I will have my phone ready uh, just in case I have to go live on my phone. But that would require a tripod set up, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, oh, and Marsha did Blab. Yeah, I loved Blab. Okay, so Yvonne says, you recently reminded me that I can create my own speaking platform, so I started a lunch and learn. I'm going to video record the next one. So you're doing a lunch and learn in person, kind of like we would have a meetup or a luncheon, right, Yvonne? And you're inviting people in person. And so, yes, videotape yourself. Anytime you're in front of a group, even if it's just 20 minutes of video and only a minute of it is, is really good, a minute can be a great clip to put on your website. So highly recommend videotaping everything, you guys. Recording everything. If you're ever on the phone with a client, record it. Uh, either on a conference line or on a video on Zoom so they can have it. It's extra added value for them. I do record things when I'm on the phone or, or a call with uh, joint venture partners or especially my virtual assistant team. Anytime I'm talking to one of my, one of my team members, I'm recording it because frankly, I don't want to repeat myself. <laughs> and I want to just tell them everything that they need to know and then they can go watch the video over and over and over again if they want to, but I don't have to repeat myself which is saving me time. All right, any other comments from Marsha or anybody that's watching? We do wanna, we're gonna close out today if there's nothing else. Um, all I can say is that if you haven't gotten some ideas on things that you can do video about, then come on, go look at the list here. Look at um, just, again, the pages that I said on your website, you want a video for each of those. Um, give some, you have expertise. Every single one of you is an expert in something. Every single one of you can tell a story about something. Get out there, share your story, right? I mean, it's just a matter of pressing record on your phone or your computer, going live. Going live on Facebook is the easiest thing. You just pull up live and type in what you're talking about and just start talking. It's that simple. And sometimes you don't need a mic or anything. I think mine works without it. But, uh, and you can get, like I said, all the equipment if you want to, but you don't have to. Just get started. The point is just to get started. Yvonne says, yes, I record all my Zoom calls too. Good for you. Uh, and so 
for those of you who aren't scared to get on video, but you don't do it consistently, right? Figure out how you can squeeze it into your calendar. What can you do to block time on your calendar so you do something at least once a week, perhaps, on Facebook or LinkedIn, depending on where your target audience is, and or once a week on video on Zoom and then record it to your YouTube, or once a week just go live on YouTube. Again, is there anybody out there using uh, just going live straight on YouTube or straight on LinkedIn or Instagram? I haven't seen any of you comment on that, and I would love to know because. It's, those are the things that I haven't done yet, and I would love to go do that. I need to figure out how to do that over there, too, in those platforms, because we have followers everywhere, right? And they may not be looking at this video on Facebook because they may be following me on LinkedIn. So I have to figure out how to be everywhere, and so do you, and it doesn't have to take that much time. You don't have to do a 35-minute video like we're here today, right? You can do a four-minute video. You can do a 14-minute video. And, and don't say, well, what's, you know, I've heard that the two minute videos are the best or the 10 minute videos. There is no real, there's no real thing about timing because the people that like and trust and connect with you will watch your message regardless of how long it is. And if they don't have time to finish it now because they're getting on a call, then they'll probably pick it up later if they're really interested, right? Now, don't go for hours and hours necessarily, but uh, anything you can do uh, is better than nothing. Marsha says, reach out if you like to talk about ways video can work for you. She's giving her email. Thank you, Marsha at mindfulmediaservices.com. Marsha's website is, so put your website link too so it pops up, Marsha. So it's mindfulmediaservices.com. She can help you anytime over in the Reno, Nevada area. But like I said, she's coming to the event and then she's probably going to plan a day in Sacramento area or Roseville somewhere where you can actually get video there. Now, she also helps people, I think, I believe, uh, virtually. So she can help you virtually figure out stuff that you need to do on your own in your own house or business. So make sure you reach out to Marsha. She's a wealth of resources and information. Yvonne says you can use... Zoom webinar, which allows you to stream to YouTube, for example. I use Zoom meeting only. So, so Zoom, you can go onto YouTube and stream on YouTube. Okay, didn't know that. Yeah, Mindful Media Services, Marsha put her link. Check her out, you guys. And come see us at the Speaker Success Boot Camp. It's just in a couple weeks, two and a half weeks. But you only have like 10 days to get your ticket. Please go to jumpstartspeakerevent.com. Uh, and grab your ticket now, whether it's a general admission or you want to upgrade to VIP and get a video for yourself. I swear to God, I make it super easy for you to do that. You don't even have to know what you're doing in your video. I will tell you based on what you speak on, what your website looks like, and I will show you exactly what to do with all of that. Um, I make things really simple and break it down step by step because most of my clients, like I said, are not techie and they've never done some of the things that I ask them to do. So I show you how, and that's what this event is about. It's how to get started speaking, it's how to maximize the speaking you're already doing, how to follow up from speaking, how to get speaking bookings, um, online and offline. You cannot miss this event because it could be, speaking should be the number one strategy you're using. Speaking is what we're doing right now. Speaking is on stage what I did last week. It's what I did yesterday in Fresno. It's speaking is the number one strategy to get you in front of more clients, prospects, and referral sources. So stop not doing enough of it, right? We need to speak probably four to six times a month. Really, if you're not speaking that much, then you're not doing enough. And if you're not making money from the speaking you're doing, then you're leaving money on the table because you don't know what you don't know. You don't know what you don't know, or you don't have the things set up. And I'm not trying to be mean, I just, I wanna help you. I wanna help you get it set up faster, sooner than later. Okay, Marcia says, last, last minute, I create videos and teach folks to make their own on their smartphone. Great, so see, you hire her for probably an hour or two, and then you know exactly what to do on your own phone, and you don't have to hire another videographer. You know, the only time I really hire a videographer to do something is when I'm speaking on stage, or I need to record a ton of videos for a website. But regular videos, no. I just kind of come on and do it because people like the rawness of the, you know, the authentic videos that you just put out with your heart. 
right? So here you go, you guys. Here's a bunch of information about video. Please get consistent with doing it in your business. I promise you, you will see more customers, more cash flow, and more clients. Um, there's no way that you can't if you do it the right way. If you do it enough, and you say the right things, and you follow up and interact with people that are that were watching your video. So, but you just need to know what to do. And I'm happy to share with you. So thanks, you guys. Thanks, Marsha. I'm so sorry we didn't get you on live. Go see her, you guys. And um, we'll talk to you soon. Have a wonderful week. And, uh, and go shoot a video right now. Go. Your market set, go. <laughs>